Hi guys, welcome, 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 welcome to Talk with Toria. This is Toria speaking. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. You're welcome. Please don't forget to give this episode a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Thank you. So today I'm going to be talking about unconditional love. Yeah. So. I feel like part of the problem with unconditional love is that some of us actually don't understand what it actually means. Uncondi- okay, I got this online. So it says, unconditional love is known as affection without any limitations or love without conditions. It's like loving someone without strings attached. Okay. Okay, what I'm getting from this is like, you don't base the love on what someone does for you, yeah? Like, you're not saying, oh, I love this person based on what the person is doing for me back. You get. So you just love them and you want them to be happy. Kind of sounds like a fairy tale. Not something that happens in real life. It is important to note that you can love someone unconditionally without staying with them unconditionally. I feel like I'm beginning to confuse myself. (laughs) Is it even possible to love someone unconditionally? Let's start with the first example everyone says. Love between a parent and a child. For me, I feel like a parent might love their child no matter what happens or like no matter what they do or say but there's always that condition they love the child unconditionally with the condition that the child is actually their own because i've seen situations where maybe um some parents find out that maybe the child they thought was theirs wasn't actually theirs and then the love they supposedly had for the child starts to vanish another example let's say you and your partner now you say you love them unconditionally but with the condition that they are sweet caring that person you fell in love with if those attributes that made you fall for them changed would you still love them because thinking about it if the conditions never change will you know if the love you have for them is unconditional i mean how will you know if they don't change like because it's one thing to say you love someone and stay with them till death do you part and it's another thing to actually act on these vows so because i've said staying with someone till death do you part doesn't actually mean it's unconditional love because you are ignoring issues in your relationship just so you could stay with the person forever. Unconditional love is not attempting to meet all your partner's needs and ignoring your own needs. That's totally unhealthy. Unconditional love is not being in that abusive or toxic relationship. I've heard of couples who still love each other but had to get a divorce or had to break up. If the relationship does more harm than good, it doesn't actually matter if you love the person unconditionally, but you have to end things if the relationship is not healthy. From okay, I got this from the Bible now. So unconditional love in the Bible sounds like this it says love is patient love is kind love doesn't envy or boast it is not arrogant or rude it doesn't insist on its own way it is not irritatable or resentful it doesn't rejoice at wrongdoings but rejoices with the truth love bears all things love believes all things Love hopes all things. 
love endures all things. <laughs> this is like too deep. As I am right now, I'm already getting a bit confused talking about unconditional love. They say it's a love without conditions, but then kind of seems like there are some hidden conditions to it. Loving yourself unconditionally. <laughs> you don't always have to wait for someone to love you unconditionally. You can give yourself that unconditional love that you seek. Just like I talk about deal breakers in the Red Flags and Deal Breakers episode, most of us have that one condition that we can't accept in a relationship. It could be dishonesty, disloyalty, disrespect, etc. To love someone unconditionally, you have to communicate your feelings and needs with them first. It's like when your partner has done something you don't like and you tell them how you feel, which is also putting how they feel into consideration, like the manner of approach in which you um, explain your feelings to them also matters. Like, in as much as you want to communicate your own feelings, you're trying to do it in a way that won't also hurt their feelings. To end this, I'll say <laughs> love includes letting go. Love doesn't require you to continue a relationship that is not healthy. Love is an action, not just feeling. Love understands and accepts differences. Love varies in how it is expressed and accepted. That's why there are different love languages and each of them have their various priorities to different people. Love has empathy. Whew. Even as I end this episode, trust me, the term unconditional love still somehow confuses me a bit. But I'm open to learning more from you guys. Okay, what does unconditional love mean to you? Do you think it exists or is just a fairy tale? I'll be in the comment section to read your answers and learn from you guys. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for coming to Talk Victoria. Bye.